I actually have two. So first and foremost, let's talk about breakfast. Today I opted for a savory oatmeal bowl inspired by One Crazed Foodie or Emma Abrahamson here on YouTube. I love this concept because I really was craving something saltier today, but I also wanted something warm and hearty. This was a great option for that. Essentially, I cooked my oats along with my soy isolate unflavored protein powder from my protein simply in the microwave with some water. I then added lots of different salty spices, so things like turmeric, salt, pepper, everything bagel seasoning, lemon pepper, parsley, you name it, I basically threw it in there. Whatever my heart desired. I then simply just topped the whole thing with some avocado and a little bit of sriracha. Now the great thing about this meal is you could definitely bulk it up in a variety of ways. This version happened to be plant-based, however if you're not plant-based, you could simply replace the soy protein powder with egg whites or you could add an egg on top if you wanted to. Another great option here is to actually add micronutrients and volume to this meal by simply shredding zucchini in it or even carrot. It would pair really, really well. The thing that I love about a meal like this is I'm getting lots of different macronutrients all in one. So not only is there fiber coming from the oats and the avocado, but you're also getting a healthy source of fats from the avocado, a healthy source of carbs from the oats, as well as obviously a source of protein from the protein powder itself. This breakfast was absolutely delicious and I definitely want to revisit it again with that idea of kind of adding in extra veggies or even some nutritional yeast for a source of B12 in there as well. I think it would be really, really good. So I'm keeping lunch today pretty light. Usually dinner time is when I get majority of my vegetables in for the day, so I'll have kind of a mix later on. Um, but for right now, I have a couple rice paper wraps with just some romaine lettuce and cucumber, some chicken and some mayo in them, topped it off with some vegetable seasoning. And then on the side, just for after the fact, I have a rice cake with peanut butter. Um, so there's a little bit of carb in this meal, nothing too crazy. Um, it's just kind of how it is today, um, but there are some healthy fats coming from the mayonnaise and the peanut butter and obviously protein from the chicken. Uh, a little bit of micronutrients just in like the lettuce and the cucumber. Obviously nothing super crazy, but usually for a snack later on, I'll likely have some kind of vegetable or a fruit. Um, so I'll get a little bit more micronutrients later on in the day, but that is essentially lunch. So as I do some editing and a little bit of work, I'm just having a small snack. So I have a banana here, it's got some potassium and some other micronutrients that are great. And then I also have a London Fog, so just some Earl Grey tea and some almond milk that's been frothed. I just wanted something warm and comforting. I really wanted something cold and sweet, so naturally I went for some kind of ice cream. Uh, this happens to be Arctic Zero non-dairy frozen dessert. Uh, this is in the flavor cookie shake. Um, I often get Arctic Zero. I find it doesn't hurt my stomach or anything like that. You could opt for any kind of ice cream realistically. The one thing I like about something like this is adding to it. So in this case, I added frozen mango for another serving of fruit during my day, as well as some white chocolate chips just to add that little bit of extra sweetness that I'm craving right now. Um, and that's a great thing that you can do with a lot of these kind of diet foods or health labeled foods is to add to them to make them more satisfying. For dinner tonight, I decided to go with a pasta dish. So I used this fusilli pasta made out of lentil and quinoa from Gogo Go Quinoa. This pasta makes a great base because it includes lots of protein and carbs as well as fiber. I also decided to bulk up this dish a little bit with corn and peas and which adds some micronutrients and then of course some shredded chicken as a source of protein. To dress this, I used lemon juice, white balsamic, honey and some lemon pepper as well as grapeseed oil to add a source of healthy fats to this meal. This was really well rounded all together.
for something sweet at the end of the night, I quickly whipped up these three ingredient cookies. Simply just add a protein powder of your choice, some oats and an egg, whip that all together and bake in the oven. It's kind of like a baked oats situation. I top mine with white chocolate chips, but some kind of nut or a dried cranberry on top of these would be great. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you gain some inspiration for a meal or a snack in the near future.